with scientists underscoring that the novel coronavirus is readily transmitted through air droplets and with ever more infections on the rise. Many people are looking to have a, a way to purify their homes, restaurants, businesses, gyms across the country. So with me is the CEO of, of Atma Pfizer, Torsten Mila. So welcome, Torsten, and explain the Atmo Pfizer to us, because I keep wanting to call it an atom, but it's Atmo, right? So, yes. Okay. So why don't you start by explaining the device, and you have one there, so let's see it. Exactly. Yeah. Jane, thank you so much for having me. Um, it's a pleasure. Um, our device is a revolutionary clean air technology. Um, you see one in the background right here. Um, we have small and larger standalone devices for private homes and businesses. And um, our air filter or air purifier is filterless. It works without a filter. Um, we are different to any other system that is on the market because instead of trying to make these filters smaller and smaller and smaller to capture these really, really small particles and viruses that nobody can see or smell, um, we come from a different uh, way. We have a different approach we make these particles bigger. Very so, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Explain, explain a little bit more about that. How did you, how were you able to even do that? <laughs> well, um, we have a brilliant team of, of scientists who um, pretty much have a different view on things. As I just mentioned, these filters have become smaller over the years and those, the smallest particles, the most harmful uh, mortal particles in our environment, let it be viruses, let it be uh, ultra fine particles from engines, from diesel engines or combustion engines, they are extremely difficult to catch. And we have a patented system that merges these particles together and makes them smaller. It's like bunching up snowballs. And once they are, reach a certain size, this is when we can effectively deal with them and inactivate them. Very interesting. Well, when I was reading about the product, my I'm in New York, so my first thought was how small businesses could use something like this because it's been so difficult for them. Restaurants, they've had to shut down, bars are closed, gyms were closed for a while, everybody's limited capacity. How could your product help them? And then I assume it would help in the home as well. Yeah, absolutely. It can help small businesses, large businesses, homes, individuals. Um, Obviously, it is crucial right now in indoor spaces to provide clean air, to practice social distancing. Um, but you have to make sure that if there is a person indoors that has some sort of infection, can be an influenza virus, could be COVID, um, what happens if they breathe? They breathe out these small little droplets. And you want to make sure that you have a filter system indoors that inactivates those particles, those harmful particles right away, not just capture it, but really eliminates them to avoid spread to other people that are around. Now, these kinds of products were very popular even before COVID, when people are just becoming more conscious of the air and, and the purity of the air. So even after this is over, which I hope is soon, <laughs> um, this is still a product that will have use in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we believe clean air is really is going to become a, a commodity like clean water going forward. We after we were over this pandemic and God knows when when this is going to be, um, we don't want this to ever happen again. So we have to make sure that indoor air is truly clean and purified, that there are no harmful byproducts in the air so we can avoid such drastic measurements in the future of closing spaces, closing schools, closing businesses, this is not sustainable. Mm -hmm. And you talked a little bit about how your product is different and how marketing claims about getting rid of viruses and things like that may not always be what they seem. Yeah, absolutely. Um, generally, when you do some research and look at air purifiers, you see these magic numbers, 99.97%. And that seems like a good deal, right? But the reality is, uh, the, most of these marketing claims, they are based on a certain size of a particle. And um, without getting into too many technical or scientific details, those virus that is keeping us right now uh, away from, from families and entering businesses and operating safely, this is way smaller and goes 
way beyond those marketing claims. So most systems out there do not do anything against COVID-19, or if they do, uh, they release or emit harmful byproducts in our rooms. And uh, we pride ourselves to be a clean air technology. We don't even have a filter. Okay, very interesting. Well, thank you so much, Torsten, for coming and explaining the Atmo Pfizer to us. And best of luck, it's certainly a timely product as we all try to figure out you know, the, what's next for us and hopefully never have to go through this again. Thank you so much, Shane. I appreciate it.